All right, guys, I'm going to show you real quick a really nice way to pinpoint a leak. I've done this in other videos, but check this out. So right here, we can get a leak, and we're not really sure on which side of the fitting. So what you can do is get old baby powder, and I'm just going to give it a dusting. makes a bit of a mess, but then I'm going to take and uh, dust it, okay? And I just, I hardly need any on there. And now what, watch what happens when we fire up the bike. Watch here now. keep doing this and uh, applying the baby powder or whatnot until it will not soak up or get wet. Check out the black area to the right and bottom of this photo on the banjo. It's got like a gouge in it and no washer would ever fix it. So I showed you a still photo a second ago where the integrity of this was not good and that's why this has been leaking. Even new washers aren't going to fix it. So you're going to see here I took some uh, emery cloth around a flat file. By just using my hand I dip into that hole and I could actually make it you know worse okay so what I'm gonna do is come around here and once I have the same consistent color all the way I get rid of this black right here and get rid of that groove we should be good and be back in there's only so much room I have I can't make this super thin or the whole assembly won't work but this is a way to make a, a good safe repair <laughs> Here the students are checking their work and I cannot stress enough how you got to get down there at the flashlight and verify that you've actually fixed the leak. Take it out for a test drive and check again. Great job students. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.